Yo, yo, yo. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, this is the Uppercut Podcast where we hold no punches. And I got a special, <laughs> special guest with me. <laughs> One of my favorite rappers in Brooklyn. For a fact. Man, New York City, man. Coca. 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 <laughs> yo, a.k.a. Coca. Jigga. A.k.a. Coca T. Washington. A.k.a. Yeah. MV King. Huh? What's up, Coca? What's the word, my boy? Yo, man. Welcome back home, bro. Yeah, good looks, my boy. Yo, man. You know, you from Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Brownsville. Brownsville? Born and raised. Born and raised. Thanks. You, you know, I, I got to get on that Brooklyn bullshit, too, man. Mm -hmm. First of all, like, how long you did in the feds? I just did 27 months in the feds. 27 months? Almost three years. Almost. Man. Like two and a half. Right. And can I ask you, like, what then you the rest, for? I had two cases. I had a fed case and a state case. Uh-huh. Oh, you feel me? Cool. I was out on bail for my state case when I caught my fed case. I was on half a million dollar bail during the pandemic. You feel me? Oh, shit. Word. For ABG Neil case, I had got locked up for that shit. Stop playing. For yeah, real? Yeah. Word. Like, so he told? He dry snitched. I won't say he told, like, on some... Yo, Coco did it, but I mean, shit, he... But, yo, it, but if he don't come to court, I thought he could get dropped, no? Like, how do you get arrested for nah, that if like, nobody, like... All right, so you want me to tell you what happened? Because it's a lot going... It's a lot going... We going to chop it up today. Yeah, yeah, Let's hell chop yeah. it up. Let's chop it up. I fuck with you. You yeah. my guy. We supposed to bend. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, you well, know, I, for the people that don't know, like, you know, when I was doing it in the call back in the day, I've been asking Coco, and then he he's like, yeah, I got you, and then he got locked up. Word. So I'm like, oh shit, it get, it get crazy. So with the ABG Neal shit, like, nah, I had caught that case 2019. I don't know, son. Right. I ain't never have beef. And how did son. that? How did that? For the record, I ain't never had no problems with him. I don't know him. Yeah, but then you was beating his ass with Yo. the Alice. You was ad libbing like whoop dee woo, and you was beating his. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, do you believe in like spirituality, like religious? Of course. What do you believe in? I believe in God. So you read the Bible? Yeah. Oh, so you seen this shit in the Bible before, right? My story, <laughs> you had to, bro, because like you know a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, you know, I fuck with you. Hmm? And can you tell me, like, elaborate, like, what, I, whatever, like, why, why did you like do that? Nah, it wasn't really personal with him. It was just like I ran into Son in the studio. Like I used to see Son in videos with like Chef G, Sleepy Hollow, and all them. Right. And I know Son. I seen them on some like you know GDK dropping rigs. You know right. the typical, sh the typical scheme and shit these rappers do. Even if it ain't personal, they just fall in line with whatever they see is cool, you know? Right. Follow with shit, so. Right. I ain't no sense. I'm like, I, I finally ran into him, so I was like, I was happy to, I'm happy to meet you. Right. I ran into him in the studio and shit. I, he said, I'm happy to meet you. This is a Brooklyn, and man. We, and we Brooklyn. had exchanged words and shit, and then I did the time for this now, so I just did five years for it, so I speak on But I did the time for it and shit. I, I, and son, he, um, I seen son in there, I asked him questions, whatever, whatever, we, whatever we said, it led to, him getting his ass whooped <laughs> and him losing his chain. Now, it ain't about oh. niggas needing his chain or something like that. It's just the principle. This was like an example to show the world, like, yo, if you don't really got no problems with us, stay out of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Right. That was, he was supposed to be the example of that. Right. I didn't know that he called the cops himself that night with his phone, like, on some, yo, you know what I mean? I'm hurt, uh, no, whatever. He ain't tell on no call or no shit like that. But when they came, yo, eight people jumped me, took this, this, that, and this. I don't know who it is, but check the cameras. I got the paperwork for that. Like, I got oh my whole... Oh, my. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's telling. How I'm from, if you're affiliated or if you're in the street and you do any form of cooperation, that's telling, you feel me? Right. Especially when you're living by a certain code, but this generation it's don't different. got the same morals like that. You know what I'm saying? So right. I can't expect for people to have what I have installed in me. You know what I'm saying to you? I'm groomed how I groom. So, in that situation, I'm thinking just some regular street rap nigga on some gangster shit, obviously. Uh-huh. He gonna hold it down. There's gonna be some street shit. I expected like possibly a crime or some shit to happen. Right. I'm not saying like I'm into that because I'm not into none of that, but I'm just saying like I get it. Worst kind of worse. No, nah, the shit wind up getting me locked up. I got locked up for that. Word. What the <laughs> fuck? Said, five years of jail for this whack ass nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wow. I ain't trying to hate on him because I don't got no problems with son. Personally, it's just that situation. Whack oh, like wow. if you were in the street, you wasn't supposed to do none of that. If niggas jumped you, you don't know nothing. Be the victim. If if they would have picked it up on their own and shit, that's my fault. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, he didn't continue coming to court. He didn't continue, like, you know what I'm saying? 
Nah, he just did that at the scene, and then when they played out, the rest they ain't need them because they right. already got that. They got us on camera, right? They got the chain, they got it in video. You know what oh I'm my! So the Nas looking like, damn, Coke, you sent down for a nigga who means nothing to the world, like. Not for real. He's not even like you know what I'm saying. Not on no hate and shit, but like nah. That after that, I mean, come on, man. Like, I'm from the streets for real, for real. Nah, like, yeah, you anybody from Brooklyn, you know me. That. I'm not saying I'm no gangster. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just saying like I got some kind of recognition from the streets. I've been outside for a long time. You right. know what I'm saying I'm thirty. Right. So I've been outside for a minute. Oh five. Right. You know what I'm saying like I know right. niggas. You know what I'm saying niggas right. know me. So mm -hmm. shit like this don't happen to real stand up individuals who believe in the same street code that niggas is going to know. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah. So, did, so you did state and the feds? I did state time for that, but I caught my, I bailed out for that during the pandemic. Okay. And then I went to Atlanta, I caught a fed case in Atlanta. Right. A gun case in Atlanta. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I got to go do my fed time because that's stronger than the state. Mm -hmm. They ran my shit concurrent. Oh, the 27 plus the five months got plus it. I did time sitting up got during it. the pandemic. During got all it. that. Boom, I came home. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Through the grace of Allah, I'm blessed. Right. 